Some of the damage done to the Baltic Sea is irreparable and uh, the sea will never again be what it once was. The Baltic Sea is a very complex environment. Apart from consisting of tons and tons of water, it's also a place that somehow touches um, the lives of 85 million people. The Baltic Sea borders to nine different countries and is also the home for um, more than 2,000 different species. Human activities put a lot of pressure on this ecosystem. Things like eutrophication, climate change, or uh, overexploitation of resources, such as overfishing, has drastically changed the biology and the ecology of the Baltic Sea. And uh, uh, this is seen in the food web. We can take Saduria enthamon as an example. This is a species that functions as a fierce predator, feeding on different kinds of worms and clams and smaller animals living in the mud. Saduria has been living in the Baltic Sea for more than 7,000 years, ever since the last ice age. And Saduria crawling on the sediment surface, uh, they make excellent prey for different fish species, such as the commercially important cod. And this means that species like Saduria form important links in the food web, channeling uh, energy and nutrients from plankton and algae through worms up to fish biomass that uh, is then used by us humans. Mainly because of eutrophication, there is uh, an area of the seafloor larger than uh, Denmark where there is no longer enough oxygen to support macroscopic life. And this means that there are vast areas where species like Saduria can no longer um, find food, can no longer uh, live, actually. It's estimated that the affected areas are uh, missing 1.7 million tons of smaller animals that could be a direct food source for important fish species like cod. So this means that we are literally suffocating our own food supplies. We are wasting um, a huge natural resource. Our research at Obo Academy University is currently focusing on um, figuring out how the feeding relationships between species help shape the ecological balance of the sea. So finding out who eats whom is important because it helps us understand how these ecological communities can withstand pressure or how they can recover following disturbances. The Baltic Sea has always been changing, and it will continue to do so um, in the future. It's not the goal, it's not even possible to get the Baltic Sea back into the state that it was a hundred years ago. But what is crucial is that we try to uh, minimize the activities that so drastically have a negative impact on biological diversity. And if we manage to do so, we can help the sea stay a healthy environment, both for species like Saduria and also for us humans. The sea is one of Obo Academy University's four strategic research areas. The others are minority research, drug development and diagnostics, molecular process and material technology. Thank you.